Hey, welcome back. We're going to be talking about Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Cover and Concealment. Now, this is the information on page 64 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. And this has to do with uh, firing into melee and what your wizard and other characters, but primarily those who run around without any armor, can do to kind of protect themselves when they're moving around either out in the wilderness or in the dungeon. And the rules that apply to that, because there are actually rules in the original or in the first edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Dungeon Master's Guide to handle that. Uh, and it's called Cover and Concealment. Let's go ahead and get into the battle map here. As you see, I have a little battle map set up. And we're going to go ahead and put a monster, um, another monster here. Got a little monster bar all back there or something like that. So got some heroes here. We're going to go ahead and throw her out on the trail. Go ahead and put him out on the trail. All right. And let's say they're moving along. And obviously this is theater of the mind or miniatures, or tokens, or however you want to play the game, that's, that's it's the same rules no matter what. So, how cover and concealment works is there are two different things. Concealment is when you're kind of just hidden, but you don't have any hard surfaces to protect you, and cover would be an actual hard surface that would actually stop an incoming weapon from actually hurting you. So, for example, uh, concealment could be you're hiding in a bush. Uh, you're hunkered down, you got some grasses in front of you, but if an arrow comes your way, those leaves on the bush, those grasses, aren't going to do anything to protect you. Whereas, if you're actually behind a tree, uh, behind some fallen logs, um, behind a big boulder, in an arrow slit, you know, things like that, you're going to actually have a lot more protection. And the rules for that are actually quite simple. Uh, the concealment, which once again is you're hiding in bushes, you're hiding in brush, uh, you're moving up here. I mean, perhaps the monsters back here have some kind of a flying creature that can talk back to them. And so they know you're coming. Maybe they're going to just unleash a volley of arrows. There's a chance they could hit the, the uh, adventurers as they come up. They don't know where they're at, but they do know that they're coming. Uh, but based upon how much concealment that they have, I mean, if they may be able to see them a little bit, maybe they see, you know, just a tiny little bit, just you know, through the trees occasionally, in which case, there's going to be a uh, either a negative four to the armor class number, armor class is down, or the two hit number will get increased by four. Interestingly, in the book, it doesn't real clear on that, but it's had, it has to be how it works, otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Um, if you're 75% concealed, uh, which means they're seeing a lot more of you, then armor class adjustment is by three. If you're only about half concealed, you know, they can kind of tell where you are at a negative two, and if they pretty much can just see you get a little bit obscured by a mist or something, then we might throw a one um, adjustment to you. However, um, so that's a little bit of concealment there, but the cover is where it really helps out. If they can kind of be hiding behind a corner and peering around that corner as the wizard waiting to throw off your spell, or we so say it's getting back there as some kind of, um, kind of an, your unarmed characters waiting to take their, their, their turns and do what they need to do in their strengths. Cover is what they're, what they want to seek. While the fighters, you know, charge or set weapons against charge and are, and are readying that attack, the wizards and magic users and, uh, you know, those types without armor really want to be looking for cover. Um, an overturned table, uh, behind the bar in the tavern, like I said, behind a rock, uh, arrow slits. Uh, and a narrow slit does give you that 90% cover, so that's giving you a 10 to that armor class, or, a, you know, a 10 to that 2 hit. So instead of perhaps you're at uh, already at 
zero, all of a sudden that puts you to a negative 10. Or if you're a mage who doesn't have, or a magic user without any armor at all running around in just your robe, you go from a 10, you can go down to zero just by hiding up behind a corner. Um, and when someone fires an arrow, they put in once again, this is for missile attack, not melee attack, but missile attack, um, people firing arrows at your party, then you can actually gain that huge bonus when you have that going on. And so as like as you can see here on the I didn't put the chart there on the table, but uh all right. I didn't go ahead and throw the chart there up on the screen but I, yeah, again and uh these don't stack. Um if you're getting cover you get cover. If you're getting concealment you get concealment. You can't get the benefit for concealment and cover. Because the concealment, of course, is already going to be built into the cover. Uh, the cover kind of starts there with that, uh, negative two. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they don't stack or anything. So, yeah, it's a very powerful tool. The wizard should, magic user should definitely, uh, take advantage of it. Uh, coming up from behind or, especially, you know, these guys are creeping up. They know there's somebody up there. You know, they're, Maybe their magic user, she might be the magic user, so the fighter's kind of going up ahead. And these guys leash some arrows. Maybe he could have less cover or less concealment, whichever the case might be, than she does. Or he might have more than she does. They gotta kind of, uh, in this case, because they could probably see most of him coming down the trail. Their flying guy is off to the side there. Um, he might only get a cover or a concealment, rather, of a one, and she, because she's behind there's some bushes here, she might get the three because she might be 75% uh, concealed. This guy back here, they don't really even know he's there yet. Maybe he's 90% concealed. They kind of know he's there. They throw some arrows over there just to kind of catch him, but they're probably not going to catch him. Now, if they were to use, um, like here we have some fallen wood, and if they were hiding behind that fallen wood, they would get the cover advantages. Or here with like these boulders, if they were behind those boulders, they would get uh, the extra cover, you know, and then that would, based upon how much of them is covered, would be how much the uh, bonus would be there. So yeah, it's a kind of a quick little uh coverage of the rule there for cover and concealment and how powerful it really can be for the player character to make use of so that they don't uh, have to just stand there and take incoming missile fire. And um, yeah, well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please give a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Catch you next time. Bye.